Hello, welcome back everyone and I hope you're all doing well. It's a casual day for me today in the office. So I had a question. So most of the content that I do uh, put up does come from my audience. So please keep asking me and I will get around to posting information. So this question is, how do I know someone is really a narcissist? Like for sure that they're a narcissist. Now, first of all, when we're talking uh, personality disorders, to actually ident identify someone in that category, well, that's not really up to lay people. And even as a therapist, we're very careful with things like that. And that's usually best left to psychiatry because we can all display certain types of narcissistic uh, behaviors at time so it's more the consistency and of course there's different scales that we look at but my question here is that if we continue with the labeling and yes I get it definitely there are lots of people who are narcissists they're hard these people are hard uh, lack of empathy and conscience sometimes, now we're in trouble. Now, if you are sensitive to energy, and many empaths are, you are going to know when something is wrong. The trouble that we have is that if we continue to want to label, are they a narcissist, are they a narcissist, uh, and, and keep going online to look at all the different traits, what we're doing, we're leaving our body. In a way, we become very self-absorbed. We're very focused on one thing. And the trouble we have is that we're focused on the other person. And we're picking up all these different things, whether they are, whether they're not. Now, because their behaviors may be inconsistent, we then think, oh, well, maybe they're not. And then we start trying for the relationship again. Instead, what we really do need to do is say, this relationship doesn't feel good. Uh, are they a narcissist? Mm. What about if we say we don't know? What about if we say, well, they're not good or they're not bad? They might just be a bad partner for me, right? For me. This person doesn't match my values. This person isn't consistent. This person doesn't want to work on the relationship. This person keeps a conflict avoiding things. This person makes me feel alone. Now we're getting somewhere because it must always be about you, how you're feeling, how you're experiencing things. Whether people are a narcissist or not, when the conflict comes in a relationship, it's an extremely important time. And I'll tell you why, because that's going to show the level of each person of their commitment and of wanting to learn new skills to handle and to deal with the situation. We can all become very, very excited when relationships are brand new. Absolutely, we can. But that doesn't determine the quality or the depth of a person you're with. So are they a narcissist? Aren't they a narcissist? As a therapist, we leave the door open, of course, all the time. Can people change? Can't they change? I would, that's not my job to determine that. We work with people to somehow either manage certain behaviours or to help raise uh, consciousness, to help raise their self-awareness. But when it comes to love, it's not good to start to put yourself in the place of continually trying to diagnose, understand the other person. You will lose yourself. And the analogy that comes to mind is at swim school, when we're little, we're taught, don't dive in to save a, a drowning person. What's going to happen? They're going to pull you down. Now, the trouble we have is that when you are looking at the narcissist, the narcissist, the ex, whatever's going on, the relationship that's not working, you're drowning because you've left your body. We need to be inside our body, inside it. We need grounding. We're here on earth, grounding. And even as empaths, if you are sensitive to energies, you continue to try to work stuff out about the narcissist, and usually empaths can feel the difference, that's not healthy either. Overgiving love is what empaths must learn, that that is so dangerous to them.
We don't overgive, we need balance and love must first be found inside. Safety and security must first be felt inside the body. And then when someone comes along and shakes that safety and security, that's when we should pause and say, well, what's going on here? Is this person good for me? Am I good for myself in this situation? Does this bring out the monster in me? And if the answer is yes, now you have your answer. People need to be able to work together in and on a relationship. Running away when the conflict uh, arises or doing this um, uh, cat and mouse thing or not wanting to commit, wanting to leave the person at home, all the games that get played, that's not, that's not a relationship. Allow the person to go and to live and do as they please. The reason we can't, we can't let this go with a narcissist, with someone who's been inconsistent with us, with someone who's left us hanging, is because we somehow have taken their problems on as our own. And because we were codependent and we were trying to fix it, we left our body to go fix someone else. We left our life to go fix someone else. We are now continually blaming ourselves. And if we did speak some truths, if our behavior wasn't as great as it could have been, because we were picking up on their energy, we may have been picking up their quietness. They weren't totally being honest. So we would react then we feel guilty. So we want to clean all of this energy up. All of it. All of it. We want to start to clean it all up. Don't allow someone else's confusion to become your own. Clean it up. Also, if you are continually having to ask, is someone a narcissist? Is someone a narcissist? Well, chances are that there's enough stuff going on between the two of you that is certainly producing narcissistic um engagement attachment also ask where's the person are they here with me now because that's where you'll find someone who wants a relationship with you they'll be with you trying to work it out they will do whatever it takes i help couples all the time all the time get their stuff together work it out but you know it's a big commitment a relationship a huge commitment and not everyone's cut out for it so maybe we could start to say instead of are they a narcissist we could say are they aligned to me to my energy are they here to make me feel safe secure protected or did they just run or are they going in and out in and out and if you're answering yes to those things then maybe instead of are they a narcissist are they good for me are they uh, are they healthy for my nervous system or do i feel that i don't know what's going on those type of relationships hmm. very uh toxic immature and in my view extremely outdated all right that's all for now now i hope that helps also one more thing the whole thing about being a narcissist is that it's all about me, 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 me. The trouble we have is that we take on those narcissistic traits too. And I'll tell you how. All of a sudden, we are so self-absorbed with the relationship. With the relationship. Now, we act out differently. The narcissist will act out by going to gain attention, affection, yada, yada. They just dumped all their shame, their guilt all the pain onto you but so you absorb it but you've also gone inside it's all about me 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 but it's done in a very different way so there are usually some signs about you know are they narcissists aren't they also look at history but the most important thing is is that you want to get yourself out of this energy as quick and as soon as you can because you must your focus must be on balancing yourself out so it's quick and easy to see if someone's in your life or left your life and, and it was toxic and I always say 